Welcome back to Southern RV TV. I'm your host, Barry, and today I'm coming at you from the Southern RV sales lot inside a 2021 DRV Manhattan floor plan. They don't build many of these, so this is a super rare piece of inventory for us. It's got two bedrooms and two full bathrooms. Let's check this thing out. So what makes this RV super unique is the fact that it does have that second bedroom and second bathroom. That's hiding in the back right here. We can pass on through and notice that we have these bunks in a slide to my right and down low there's storage. At the back of the room we have some nice big cabinets, a place to hook up a TV, or we can turn this into a small desk, which is kind of a slick feature. This door is gonna reveal our bathroom. Nice full-sized bathroom there. It's got the foot flush toilet with a macerator system, storage up above, a great glass enclosure shower, wonderful sink with very residential touches. And there's even more storage crammed into the corner over here in the terms of a full closet with a Chester drawer down low. Now, the living room is nothing to slouch about either because of opposing slides and a flat ceiling front to back on the DRV. It leaves us all this space. This is huge. I could do yoga in this living room. It's kind of awesome. There's a ceiling fan up above me for really circulating that air when it's nice and warm outside. They put the entertainment center on this side of the bunk room big flat screen TV with a sound bar and that electric fireplace. They've given us theater seating and guys, this theater seating is pretty rad. They've got power seats on it that go in and out, but moreover, these LED strips are customizable. So not only can we change the brightness level of it, we can change the color too by holding it down. Look at that, it's like a disco party. That's kind of fun. You can also change the color of the fireplace to match, so you can kind of set the tone of the room. I think that's a neat feature. This sofa does pull out into a bed, so if you had more people sleeping here than what the two bunks in the back and the master can handle, we can actually accommodate a couple of extra guests. There is storage up above that as well, and they've gone ahead and incorporated the DVD player, the subwoofer, and all of your audio visual componentry up here. And that all links back to that entertainment center. It's just a bigger, deeper cabinet to host all of those things. In our kitchen, we have solid surface countertops. They've even provided us with a dishwasher, which I think is an awesome option in here because if you're full-time in an RV, nobody wants to do dishes by hand all the time. There's some other neat features in this kitchen as well. In addition to just having lots of storage, like this pantry with adjustable shelves, the chest drawers down low, they've given us this sliding tray with a GFCI outlet in the back. You can put a coffee maker, a toaster, or other daily use items that you don't want out on a counter all the time. You can have it right here, you can do your thing in the morning with it, slide it and tuck it away, and then it's gone and hidden out of sight. DRV has all sorts of very residential things going on, like the tile backsplashes, the Insignia oven, which is being more and more popular in the RV industry as time moves on. We're seeing this crop up in more places. It is a big oven, and it does feel like the one you use at home. They've even given us this giant Insignia refrigerator. It's huge with double doors and a drawer freezer down low. And there's even water in this in the form of this inside little plug here. You just put your cup up against it, water's gonna pour right out. Behind me, 
lots more storage. That just seems to be the theme with DRV. They plugged it in everywhere. Even right here across from the door as soon as we step up in, they've given us a little coat closet and hidden all of our control panel. So that's where you're gonna run in your awnings, run out your slides, check tank levels, check on the generator, check your power supply, all of that's right there. That's right, I did say generator. We brought this in with a generator option. That means it's fully self-contained. You don't even need shore power. You can just turn that bad boy on and you're up and running with air conditioning and everything. The dinette that's in here is actually pretty tricky as well. It's another one of those things that DRV has hidden up their sleeve. It's a little bit deceiving. This can seat four pretty easily. It's got a couple of safety latches that come undone, sliding this out, but if that's not enough, this comes out and there's a leaf hidden down in here as well so that we can really extend this and bring a couple of extra chairs in and seat the whole family with ease. Those extra chairs are hiding up under the bed in the form of matching folding chairs that goes with the decor in here. Let's pop on up to the upper deck. And as we're going up there, I'll point out that they've got this great sliding door that comes out and it matches the other doors inside the RV. So that's kind of cool. It's going to provide some privacy. Our bathroom, the master bath features that same shower enclosure that we saw earlier, the foot flush macerator toilet, lots of storage. That's a great thing anytime you see it. So cabinets, cabinets everywhere. And across the hall from our bathroom, we have a washer dryer closet. So this is built into the slide. And let me wave my hand, there it goes. There's a sensor with a light there, so that cuts on automatically when it senses movement. Again, we have room here for full-size side-by-side washer-dryer with a little bit of storage built in around it too. That's pretty smart. I can also see if you weren't the washer-dryer type of people, putting in some shelving or a hanging rod in there to really just extend your closet space. The master bedroom that I'm standing in now hosts a king bed and opposing slides. At the foot of the bed, we have this nice big entertainment center slash chest of drawers. It's got six big deep drawers in it, and those are all soft close. All the drawers and doors in here are soft close. That means you just have to get them close, let it go, and it's gonna do its thing. We've got a nice flat screen TV up above. It's angled down and facing that beautiful large king bed. And on either side of the king bed, we have power as well as USB, and we've got a little nightstand for setting down like a CPAP or something of that nature. The closet that's in this bedroom, now I'm a tall guy, so I gotta duck down a little bit when I go in here, but this is real cedar lining on the closet. It smells great, and cedar's known for having natural insect repellent abilities as well. They've even built in a safe into this closet as well. So you can lock up your documents and important things on the go. There's a couple of drawers back here and yet another plug. It's small things like this that really make the DRV shine. Like most RVs on the market today, there's still more to see. There's storage hiding up under the bed as well. There's those two folding chairs we were talking about a little bit earlier. Guys, I think we've pretty well seen the inside of the DRV. Let's go check out the outside. Here outside the DRV, we see some key features that really separate it from the pack. One is that this has full body paint. There's no decals to crack or fade over the years. This can be washed and waxed just like a car can. This has frameless windows, and notice that we are up under these giant awnings. That's a really great feature. Their power, they roll right out at the touch of a button. This unit has some of the largest and thickest sidewalls in its class. And that's gonna do a couple of things for you. It's gonna give you more insulation, so protection from the hot and the cold, and it's gonna suppress sound as well. I like to tell people to wrap their hands around these sidewalls whenever they get a chance and then wrap their hands around other RV sidewalls and see the difference. Even the baggage doors are thick and insulated. This storage space is massive. And if you notice up top, 
we can see where this thing is decked with steel up here, not just aluminum. So that's part of the frame and that's really cool too. Other key features that DRV does is in this pass-through storage, they give us access to our tanks as well as the heater. So this little door slides open and you can see there's both of our tanks right there. So if you ever have an issue, a technician can quickly address it because it's super open and accessible. We have the aircraft style landing steps. This is sitting on six point automatic level up that's canted out to give it a more stable stance. And down low, we see that we have some nice big Goodyear tires and we're running on more ride independent suspension and those are disc brakes in there, not drum brakes. So that combination of things is gonna give this a super, super smooth ride and that big old triple stack box tube frame is gonna keep it extra steady, especially when you're moving around in the RV, you're not gonna feel it move at all. DRV does some other cool stuff they carve out their skirts and give us extra storage wherever they can. I like that. And they've given us slam latches as well. Around the back side of the RV, we have a fully molded back cap. They do the tail lights and LED. It's got that kind of Cadillac vibe with the tall, nice, slender red lights. And they've given us a two inch receiver hitch and a full on trailer pin wiring back here. So that's the round plug. That means you could tow a boat, another small trailer, a little utility trailer, you name it, you could put it back here if you wanted to. The ladder leads up to our fully walkable roof. And this one has a power cord reel on board, which is a nice feature because it's a big, heavy 50 amp cord. Sometimes you just don't want to deal with that. So hitting a button and letting it roll in can actually be a really nice feature as well. Another thing that we've optioned in is that we have slide toppers on this particular unit on our slides. The only one of the slides on this unit that you won't see a slide topper on is the vanity. And that's all because it only comes out a little ways and it's covered up by the awning anyway. Pushing on back, we have a hatch here. This is the backside of that residential refrigerator. So that's gonna give us access to that water port and let us winterize it or drain it. We have our standard connections here with all of our tank pulls. And then this is just simply the other side of that big old storage space. And in here is where we find control to our level up system that comes on at the touch of a button. And also on this side, we see access to our whole house water manifold as well as our water filtration. That water manifold is really sweet because those are straight lines that go all the way to each fixture and you can shut it off right there. So if you ever did have a leak or an issue with some of the plumbing, it's easy to take care of. Up here at the front, one thing DRV does that's really different is this molded underside. So that's a nice hard fiberglass with a 3M coating on it that goes up and over and connects up to this big heavy molded front cap. Also, they do some cool stuff in terms of their propane storage. They've given us some extra, extra large bottles and they put it on this nice rolling tray that slides in and out for ease of access. At the very front, we have our battery box. Again, this is on a sliding tray. We have a battery cutoff switch. There are two more batteries on board hiding over here. And then with this particular model, we've optioned in a generator. These are starting to be hard to find, so we're trying to get these put in on all of our DRVs if we can. Now, the great thing about a generator is it makes this unit fully self-contained. That means you can go anywhere with this, park it, and as long as you have water in the tank, you're good to go. So you don't have to have hookups. This thing will power the whole house. At the very front, we have some nice load lights that are tucked up and under by our pin box. And that pin box is a uh, more ride style and it has all sorts of give and take to it because of these great rubber escutcheon plates that are in there that allow to accommodate for some of the chucking that happens when towing such a large and heavy fifth wheel. 
Our front cap is new for this year for DRV. Has some great lights on it for running down the highway. Those look awesome. And this is the only decal on it, and it's a nice, big, embossed, heavy one. It's not like a vinyl paper decal. It's not gonna wear out anytime soon. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tour of the DRV Manhattan. Until next time, happy RVing.